Okay. <laughs> Welcome to 989 Tech Talk. This show is an affiliation with Africa Business Radio, your number one online radio station. 989 Tech Talk covers all things tech in the agricultural space. My name is Michelle. I am mad about tech. <gasps> no. <laughs> Welcome back to 989 Tech Talk. I have again with me um, in the studio, calling in the studio, Dr. Emmanuel Owobo. Hi, Dr. Emmanuel. Hi. Sorry hey. for um, earlier. <laughs> oh, no, Told you was I know. No fault of yours. That's okay. That's okay. So I gave I gave the listeners a bit of a breakdown of both companies that you're currently running, right? Um, so I talked about my paddy, how it helps you find great insights on sex, contraceptive, abuse, and the likes. And I talked about Omomi, how Omomi... Um, means my child and it's an app that provide mothers and expectant mothers with life-saving maternal and health child information so let's start with my paddy can you give us like a run yeah like a rundown of what the company is about the benefits and things like that okay so like i mentioned um, earlier so um at movie we try to um provide solutions to um healthcare problems using mobile technology okay so mobicure um, is a parent the, company i'm sorry mobicure is a parent company parent, okay cool yes yeah. so the product under mobicure are my party and um right, right. Uh, right so we uh, with my party um, our focus is essentially to improve sexual and productive health rights okay uh so we're doing this in three simple um um, steps by one providing access to sexual and productive health care right. in, in form of information right um then the second part is to provide access to counselors mm. and doctors so an extended care right. beyond just access to information and um the step is to provide access to um information to provide okay. doctors to information sorry to provide access to apologies for this. I mean, my friends. Also. That's okay. Okay. So, and the third one is to provide um, access to sexual and productive health products. Right. So, so you 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 come online. You um, let's say it's a, a classic sixteen-year-old girl was raped by someone close to her, okay. and she comes online and she says information about rape, okay. and she says, "Okay, mm-hmm. she wants to talk to a counselor." Right. So, step one, she says information on, on rape. She knows the consequences of what we could do to her body. Right. Then she talks to the counselor. And the counselor says you need to you need to get say something like post exposure prophylaxis or you need to get something like um posting or two or some or any other form of contraceptive that can help you in this early stage. Right. And also you talk to the to the counselor. Right. We want to be able to provide solutions in these three categories. That's wonderful. Yes. That's wonderful. And I also see on your website you have, um, um, you also provide insights on HIV AIDS and all whatnot. Yes, and you have a yes. diary where people can sort of like record their, their, their thoughts. Can you, can you? Yes. Okay. So the, we, we, we provide um, a personalized diary that uh, users can just record daily their, okay. their, their experiences, um, their their problems, their mm-hmm. thoughts, um, it is so um then other product or other services in the platform right. are um uh, what do you call it um, your uh, menstrual cycle right. um calculator right. and ovulation days right. safe safe days it is it. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. That's absolutely wonderful. Now, those, I mean, um, so for example, I go on the app and I pull my, how? So I'm very sort of like particular about my information and what I put out there. So how, yes. how, so. So users are on the platform are anonymous. Okay. So we encourage users to put aliases on the platform. Oh. To use aliases on the platform so that um, they are free to express themselves. Right. Um, without any judgment or being feeling judged right right yes. so just, just so, so so i have i have like a nickname or something like that but how about my email exactly address what advice <laughs> people not to use their popular nicknames right just use something that you like calling yourself in your head right and just use it 
and then you can talk to anybody. Nobody knows who you are. Even um, so, if you go to the platform and as a place that you can impute your Facebook mm-hmm. and Instagram and everything, th- that does not show to other users, only to you. Right. right. So right. you can put all, you can put every form of information you want to put there, but it doesn't show to a third party. Oh, so I if see. I come, come and click on your profile, mm-hmm. the only thing I just see is your alias and the day you joined. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, so it's like an it's, a, it's an online community where people can go and learn about stuff and, and things like that. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. That's yes. that's awesome. Now, uh, uh, how when did you guys start? When did you start this company? Yeah. So, uh, Mobito started in officially in 2015. Okay. And uh, so that's when we started um, Omomi, and Omomi ran, or is still running mm-hmm. um, till now. Okay. And, but in 2017, we piloted um, on my party for about nine months or, right. so, or, or so. Right. Yes. Then okay. we launched fully July, June last year. Oh. So, between our launch, our full launch last year, July, sorry, last year. We took okay. our full launch last year, and now we've been able to reach about fifteen thousand downloads Whoa. on the platform. Whoa! Yeah. Okay, that is absolutely amazing. Um, earlier, so can, can people order through the app? Can they buy anything through the app, or so uh, to buy? Uh, so what you can do on the app currently now, because we've not updated the app, or okay. we're working on a new update. Okay. What you can do on the app is again talk with the doc, talk with the doctors on the chat. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, you can privately chat with the doctors or with the counselors. Right. But if you want to use our online store, you have to just click, go to any of the website links, whether Google or Facebook or right. Safari or any of the right. um, mobile browsers and type um, mypartyapp.com hmm. forward slash shop. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, that's, yes. that's that's awesome. I see on the website here, and this one is actually really funny. How somebody said, "I learned how to wear a condom and save myself the embarrassment of asking my peers." So they can just go in there, and it's like the, it's like the naira land of I don't know what of like your your space in terms of like the health exactly. Space where you can... Exactly. You can just <laughs> really ask. So if you ask your friend personally now, like how can I work? You sound dumb, right? Right. People look right. at you like, come on, you're almost like your twenties and can't don't know how to use a condom. But but many people really do not know how to do that. Right. So we try to create that safe space to ask I got questions you. generally. I got you. Yeah. That makes a whole lot of sense. That because I wouldn't if I have some sort of like weird swelling somewhere in my body, I wouldn't even want to ask my friend. I'd be like, eh, exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's no. It. It's a wonderful platform. It's a wonderful platform. Um. So you've heard it here first, guys. Go ahead and download the app on Android and iOS. Is that correct? Yes, Android and iOS. Okay, cool. Now tell us about Omomi. I like Omomi. And I'm like, you yeah. see, yeah, I, most, <laughs> most people seem to have this love for Omomi. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it, you know, it talks to providing access to healthcare for women and children. Okay. Uh, so again, sim- it's a bit similar to my party, but we cater this to provide solutions for women and children. So right. there you see things like monitoring um, growth and development of mm-hmm. a child, mm-hmm. uh, uh, immunization dates, although that we need to update it slightly because okay. it's recently changed. Right. Um, then uh, you can also um, manage diarrhea at home. Right. Oh, oh okay. Yes. Okay. So the, again, the information and the things you can do, they are really catered to women and children. Right. Unlike, again, yes. Oh. But it's generally the same concept of providing access to healthcare. Nice, nice. Now I see here on, on the um on the, the the website it says um the the child growth monitor. What is, what is that about? So uh at between zero what is what zero eight zero to um eight five okay. kids are generally expected to grow at a certain rate. Okay. So they, they are called developmental milestones. Mm-hmm. So those developmental milestones can, especially in terms of growth of height or weight, okay. they can actually be calculated. Right. Right. So we 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 created an algorithm within the app to allow women just do that from the front right. and just monitor it. So um, if you 
you can download the app and, and go into the app. You can see, you see images that basically just teach you how to do them. Right. And when you do that, you impute the figure. And you can easily tell if your child is overweight or underweight mm. or obese right. or kwashoko or masmo <laughs> right. or anything. Yeah. Right. Oh, no, that's absolutely wonderful. Um, and also on this app, they can chat with a doctor privately. They can chat with a doctor privately, yes. Right. On any health issues or whatsoever. Right? On any health issues, that's yes. That's great. I see here it says partner with us. So in terms of partnership, so what are you guys, how does that work? So uh, in terms of partnership, we it, it depends really on on the type of partners because, again, we don't just want to just take any partners okay. on that would drag us left and right. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, because we actually have a plan for ourselves. Okay. So, yeah, but... Um, one major partnership we would definitely like to get is probably with the uh, health insurance space oh, okay. to help us basically reduce cost of health care for women right, and, right. And, and their children. Then um, uh, under partnership uh, will be in, in, in the uh, uh, women social, in social space for okay. women. Okay. Because again, health care is just more than it's just more than uh, is it sick or is it not sick, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. You know, social health and mental health is also very important. Right. And so again, the platform is for healthcare, but we, if you really spend time on it, you see women talking about abuse and right. uh, domestic right. violence and things like that. So the doctors and the counselors, they also try to manage such situations. So partnerships around, around that. Because then, of course, very big on the on on the platform is also nutrition. Okay. So okay. if you can get like um, nutrition, like a, a company that is focused on nutrition, to mm-hmm. partner with us mm-hmm. on how we can provide uh, cheap. Uh, I don't see what cheap, affordable, but cost, <laughs> affordable <laughs> exactly <laughs> low cost products for these women, which right. would definitely be awesome. Right. Um, you mentioned um, people who run like a women's space. Are you talking about like an NGO for women or what exactly? Not necessarily. Of course, most in, in this space, most of them tend to be NGOs, but it could okay. be in the form of CSR. Okay. 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 Not necessarily an NGO because again, NGOs also have their plan. Right. And you can't just tell them, hey. So twenty twenty <laughs> plan is X Y Z add A to A, right? Right, so, right. right. Oh no, that's absolutely wonderful what you're doing with your company. I know you mentioned I met you at the um at the health tech conference and there was something you mentioned. Yes. You were saying that I I didn't there was a lot going on that day, but I, I think I caught a bit of it. You said if they had so with the whole health insurance and if we had like an API that would give you information to the entire um I don't know. Can you can you talk about that? I hope you remember, but can you Yes, I do. So what okay. what I was talking about was uh so if um, you want to connect the general healthcare space, say okay. within Lagos State, okay. right? Mm-hmm. There should be like a standardized form of health information transfer. Right. Well, so somebody uses our app, mm-hmm. and we have some health information about about the person. Right. Uh, then I. Um, there should be an API that should be able to connect that health information with, say, right. someone in um, Reddington Hospital, as a little bit self. I got you. Someone in one um, community health around us, right? Right. That way, the the woman, the the, the patient's information uh-huh. is flowing around, and for every step, the doctor or the health provider that he or she meets can have access I got you. to more recent health information right. of that patient and that makes a whole lot of sense because then you don't have yeah. to you know how like when you're trying to go to a hospital like feel this thing, do this feel <laughs> that carry this paper <laughs> exactly. it here. now it would be great if somebody can come up with that yeah because i know you put it out there that they're saying please if somebody comes up with this it'll make life a lot easier exactly you know? <laughs> right but, and again people will tell us why don't you do like you can't solve every problem right so just pick your battle and fight it Hmm, absolutely wonderful. Um, so I'm just I'm just trying to get a bit of a fun fact. It's been really wonderful having you here in the studio with me today on call. Let me let me say that clearly. <laughs> so um a bit of a fun fact. So I, I I read an article recently that said the health tech space is worth 
a billion dollars right now like right now how accurate is that what do you think what do you think about that it's actually worth over that okay okay <laughs> In in Nigeria, I'm not too sure how right. much it is worth, right. but in in the globally, it's worth over I think 800 billion. Or so it's really Wait, did, not. You, did you say 800 billion? Yeah. Is that is that in, is that dollars on naira? Let's just let's just look it up. Just, just look it up and you find it. It's really huge. Dude, that is it's a lot. Healthcare, healthcare, I know. Healthcare data is it's one of the most expensive. I know. Things I, know. Right I, know. I know. I know. I so, know. And yeah. that's actually wonderful because I just I was just saying on the show earlier on I said I see especially in Nigeria right I see the health tech um I see the I see a lot happening in the health tech space in Nigeria because I talked about a company yeah. I think I mentioned that to you during the week where I said a company in in um, Egypt raised a million dollars you know um yeah, <clears throat> yeah. so yeah it, it is major but thank you Emmanuel Doctor Emmanuel let me put that let me put that real quick thank you very Emmanuel much <laughs> no 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 I need to put some respect on your name sorry <laughs> <laughs> thank you Doctor Emmanuel uh, for being. In the studio so with me today, I appreciate it. Um, if anybody wants to get in contact with you, how can you do it? Uh, so it's um, Emmanuel at mobilecure.b. Okay, awesome, awesome. Thank you so much, and do have a wonderful, wonderful day ahead. All right, thank you. Okay, bye. Bye. Awesome. Can you? Can you? This has been a. It's been a really wonderful show. I've I've learned a lot. Have you missed any? Have you? Have you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're going to go on a short break. When we come back, Mr. Nee is going to tell us all about Internet of Things and, and what's happening in that space. And I can't wait. I cannot wait to hear all about it. So I will talk to you soon. Wake up. The revolution is here. The future has just been uploaded on the cloud. To download it into your consciousness, listen to 989 Tech Talk only on Africa Business Radio. 989 Tech Talk with Michelle. Hi guys, this is Brian Harris from Atlanta and I listen to 989 Tech Talk with Michelle on Africa Business Radio and I'm so mad about Tech Talk. I hope you are too. 